this day 71 years ago, America was under attack. The attack on Pearl Harbor killed 2,400 Americans and wounded nearly 1,300 others. And a West Asheville man says he could have easily been one of those casualties. News 13's John Lee joins us now. And John, what a powerful perspective from a Pearl Harbor survivor. And during that attack, Paul Meeker didn't hold out much hope of making it, now living his life well aware that he is one of the lucky ones. Horrific times. Most of us picture the attack on Pearl Harbor in black and white. They were just bombing and strafing all over the island. But in Paul Meeker's mind... But I saw a big black bomb. The memories are in high definition. If I had known this Japanese fighter pilot, I'd have recognized him. He was that low. That close to the enemy and, uh, and anyway, that close he, to uh, death. He turned all of those machine guns on and ripped up all the concrete and stuff around us there, but he didn't get any of us. And I said, oh my goodness. I thought all the time we wasn't going to make it because we had absolutely no defense. Now 94, the Pearl Harbor survivor still seems shell-shocked by what he saw. We had about maybe 100 fighter planes on the ground just lined up for him, and they just were just tearing them up. He was 23 on that date, which will live in infamy, first enlisting in 1939. I went in the Army as a boy, and I came out as a man. In the midst of the bombing, Paul thought of his mother. I wrote on there after, to my mom. I said, Mom, I'm all right, because uh, I know she'd be worried to death about me. So anyway, I, I found out later that in three weeks she got that card. I just have to pinch myself to see if I'm still alive, because <laughs> that was a very dangerous situation that I went through. Two years after the darkest day, Paul found light here in the mountains. And then I met this pretty little girl. <laughs> he and Edna got married and cut the cake in Leicester 69 years ago. Quite a full life after near death. This is one of four great grandchildren. I feel very blessed, absolutely, to, to uh, have survived. And 71 years later, it's a point of pride to say he was there and lives to tell about it. It's a feeling you can't explain. And then you have to get yourself prepared for most any eventuality. And uh, it sure made me alert. But anyway, we... And next summer, the Meekers will celebrate their 70th anniversary.